Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. Today we are uh, going to discuss on AWS Simple Storage Service or S3 starting with the key features. Object Storage So S3 stores data as objects which can be accessed and retrieved through a unique URL or by using the AWS SDKs and APIs. SDKs in the sense it can be .NET, Python, SDKs. We can interact with um, AWS S3. Another is scalability. So S3 can automatically scale to accommodate an unlimited amount of data. Durability. S3 stores data across multiple availability zones to ensure high availability and durability. Security, S3 provides features such as data encryption, access control and versioning to help users secure their data. Versioning, versioning can be done at bucket level. Same key override will change the version. So for example, if there is a file already there and if we copy the same file there, then the key associates with that particular file would be override. You can also easily roll back to previous version if required. Replication. Replication can be done. CRR, cross-region replication or SRR, same region replication. Bucket can be in different AWS account as well. So these are the few key features. After that, let's talk about the storage classes in S3. So it has a S3 standard. By default, this is the one which is present for any S3 bucket. So this is the basic storage class for S3 and designed for frequently accessed data. Another is S3 intelligent tiring. So this is a cost optimized storage class that automatically moves data between the two access tiers. Frequent and infrequent access based on changing access patterns. So this is newly added storage class. This was not present earlier, but after it is being introduced, many project or many companies started using this particular storage class. This is the most efficient storage class. Another is S3 standard IA, infrequent access. So this storage class is designed for data that is accessed less frequently and is intended for long-term storage. S3 standard IE provides a lower cost per GV than S3 standard with a retrieval fee. S3 one zone infrequent access. So this storage class stores data in a single availability zone and is intended for data that is not critical and can be recreated. S3 Glacier, this is the lowest cost storage class and is intended for data that is infrequently accessed and for which retrieval times of several hours are acceptable. S3 Glacier Deep Archive, this is the lowest cost storage class intended for data that is infrequently accessed and for which retrieval times of 12 hours are acceptable. So these are the storage classes. We can create lifecycle rule for a storage class by that if a file is not being used for certain amount of time, it would be moved from one storage class to another. So this is this particular storage class topic is very much important. If in case you are 
preparing for AWS Solution Architect exam or Developer Associate exam. So let's see few of the use cases S3 has for backup and disaster recovery. So S3 can be used to store backups of data allowing for easy recovery in the event of disaster. For example, as a use case, Airbnb using S3 to store backups of their data, allowing them to quickly recover in the event of a disaster. So this would secure the data, which is very much important. Then for content distribution, S3 can be used to store and distribute large files such as videos and software. Example, Netflix uses S3 to store and distribute the large video files that make up their streaming services. Then Big Data Analytics, S3 can be used to store and process large amount of data for Big Data Analytics. Spotify uses S3 to store and process large amount of data on their listening habits. For cloud native application, S3 can be used as a data store for cloud native application such as those built on AWS Lambda and AWS ECS. Elastic Container Service. For example, Uber uses S3 to store and retrieve large amounts of data such as images and videos associated with the cars and drivers on their platform. So this way we saw various key features, then use cases of S3. Also we have gone through the storage classes S3 has. So in a nutshell, S3 is very important service for storage and what are the use cases of it. So this is a very important topic. It can be asked in many interviews as well. Also in, as I said earlier, Solution Architect exam asks for these stuffs. So if you are preparing for AWS Solution Architect exam, please go through this, all the details. Hopefully this video was helpful in understanding the importance of S3. For such kind of videos, please sign up or subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and your continuous support for Cloudophilic. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a good one.